All right, everyone. Welcome to Instructabot. Um, today I'm going to go over on how to use uh, Crazy Bump. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, as you can see, I got the educational version. Um, you can click to visit the forum. This is just its interface. This is, I mean, it's not in its interface, but it's just its opening screen. And then uh, if you want to get to its interface, so you just click open. And um, what you want to do is you want to open a photograph from file. If you have a height map already, uh, you can configure a height map or you can configure a normal map. But we're just going to open a regular photograph. And I'm going to open up Crate Diffuse Tut. Open up this guy right here. Crazy Bump is thinking. So I kind of want the crate that looks like it's pushed in the black values so that's the the one I want because the eyes of the the uh, the creature will actually stand out in the fingers as you can see so I'm just going to select this shape and what you have here in this window is a sphere and it just gives you an idea of what your normal map, spec map um, your diffuse is going to look like when you uh, apply the normal inspect to it. So to navigate in this, all you do is right click to move the, uh, I mean sorry, left click to to op move your globe around. Right click is to move the light so you can see what your spec and you can also zoom in and out with the wheel. It'll say right down here in the bottom too so left is rotate, right is move light middle is pan so panning the texture so you just click it and you pan and then you can rotate there's a difference the panning will just move the texture on top of the object rotate rotates the actual full object in its sphere's form so I'm just going to zoom out a little bit so I can see everything here in this preview you can check to see the instead of a ball you can choose column what it'll do is lay it out like it's a column that looks really cool with the monster inside there like that okay and then there's also roller this is the opposite of column just laid out in a different way so roller and then you have box which is going to help us you can see how the normals are going to look with your box and yeah and that's pretty much that you have those as your options so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of shrink this down a little bit so we can see what's going on in this window as well so as you can see you got my box my options okay I'm gonna, if this is the normal map options uh, I'll show you right over here you have different uh, tabs you have your normal map you move this to the side right here where it's like oops looks like it's open. Or I can just uh, let's go ahead and just move this move this out a little bit. I'm just gonna expand this and just give you guys an idea. Let's get this open a little bit. There you go. Alright, so you have your normals. So right here, you have displacement. Displacement map. It's basically it's kind of like your, this is your height map. It uses black and white values to push in in and pull out an object. Normals uses RGB, so red, green, and blue. It's all mixed in there somehow. Um, you can see it right there. Um, it'll push in and pull out uh, with those value those colors. Occlusion. This will lay out basically some nice shading in between, like a almost like faking that there's a bounced lighting around the object, and that there's there's a, there's some like shading in, inside these cracks and things like that. And you have specularity, the specularity map. We just want basically these little highlights to show. So we would have to actually uh, mess around with the specularity map settings. And this is our regular diffuse texture. That's what it looks like. So let's go straight to normals and let's adjust accordingly. So let's kind of expand this, see what's going on in our preview. 
right now it actually looks like it's really good. I mean, if you adjust the intensity, you'll actually see in the preview that, okay, yeah, it's getting a lot more normal information. Um, you can sharpen it. Um, you can uh, see with the very fine details. You can increase the little details on it. It's just basically fine details and very fine is like in between. So it's like you have medium detail, fine details, like smaller than the detail, and then the very fine details are like the darker colors, like like little dark specks, and you have medium dark specks and large dark kind of specks that you're adjusting and and um, large detail is usually the whole entire panel itself like let's say for instance this just focus on uh, a panel so you can just kind of increase that a little bit see if that does anything just mess around with the settings um, let's get that normal looking good doesn't have to be too much intensity but but yeah just have fun with the normals um, just kind of tweak tweak out the settings and see which what what you think looks good on it um, specularity map I'll show you how to do the spec map so let's go ahead and go to the specularity tab as you can see normal map is on top specularity map is on the bottom a lot of times I would get confused I'd be like adjusting the normal map and I would realize that oh I'm not nothing's changing it's like what's going on and it's actually you're adjusting the normal map you're not adjusting the spec map but in the viewport you can actually see let's see if I zoom in a lot of specularity on this like this looks like it's like one wet looking crate so um, to reduce that I'd bring down the brightness a little bit just a little bit just a little hints of specularity as you can see it's there but it's not as as profound it's not as much so increase the brightness you can see that it starts increasing right here and there you have it that's that's your spec map you really don't need too much specularity I just bring the brightness down you can increase the contrast make you know if you feel like it but it's really not necessary because we just have this wooden wooden crate so let's bring up the spec just a little bit. So this demo, we're just going to focus primarily on just making a normal map and a spec map for spec map for this. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and save them out. So to save, you click the specularity tab, right, and then you press save. You can save all the textures that you were currently messing with, but I'm just going to save the specularity only. So I'm going to press save specularity file and what this does you just put it into your uh, file where you're saving your diffuse uh, texture which is this one so I already have one laid out I'm just gonna save over it and I'm gonna save it as a targa so choose true vision targa and press save okay and also do the same thing with your normal map you wanna save that guy out so same thing save normals to file instead of saving all textures create diffuse normal to normal so I'm just going to save that as a targa scroll down save that as a targa and save 24 bits fine and I'm just going to go ahead and exit so that's it for this tutorial thanks for watching